What's up? It's Friday night, and I'm sitting here at the dining room table. <clears throat> I just got through eating some food that I know I really didn't need, but it was convenient for me to get, so I, I ate it. But I'm not um, trying to be picking on myself. I'm just noticing. I was just sitting here thinking that um, I have addictions I need help with. Like, for real. Like, food, for one of them, and social media. I need help. And I'm about to find me some help some kind of way. Because... My addiction ain't no different from anybody else's addiction. And I do want to always watch how I speak. But you just got to be real with yourself. You feel me? Like, it's like I do good for a minute. But then I'll slide back down. But <clears throat> I know it's a process. And I believe in myself. And I've overcome a lot of things in life that I never thought I, I could overcome. But um, I did. So I'm going to overcome this too. I know it. But I'm just having a moment right now. And I also was in my feelings. I was in my feelings. I felt like I needed to cry. And I'm probably about to cry. But I was trying to identify what was making me feel like I needed to cry. And it was a song I was listening to. It was this crybaby-ass love song I was listening to. I just discovered some uh, artist online tonight when I was on Instagram. And I was like, ooh. I didn't know what who he was, but I just like kind of Googled the lyrics. And I found the song I was looking for. And, uh, yeah, that's why we, we, for one, we got to be careful about what we paying attention to because it affect our moods. But also, we got to, we got to hold space for our own selves. And if we feel in our emotions, we got to let, let ourselves feel them emotions and we got to, uh, validate those emotions and then that's how we process them and let them go. I'm so grateful for the teachers I've met cuz that was a that has been one of one thing in life that I was challenged in an area is emotions and um blocking my emotions off and now that I express my emotions and now that I validate my own emotions it's so easy for me to i ain't gonna say easy but it's much more easy than just sitting on them and not doing nothing with them and pushing them down and pushing them down and making myself sick spiritually mentally and emotionally because i don't want to deal with my feelings but it's like now i thank god for it the teachers that I, the, just all the help that he sent, that I attracted, that I manifested. Because it's like now I got the tools to get, like I want to cry right now. I want to cry right now because... I feel like my heart got broken. I broke my heart. <clears throat> and I'm mending it. And sometimes we be thinking we passed and over stuff. And then we'll manifest something that trigger us. And make us freaking think about the experience over again. But uh, by... My, what my emotions tell me right now is that I ain't all the way over. Whatever I thought I was all the way over. And that's okay because healing don't happen overnight.